Hey guys, I'm Rob Murphy from Holistic Healing Choices here. Now today, I've just been last weekend at Knotfest, which is a bit of a music festival for those not in the know, regarded to the heavier side of things. So sort of run and operated by Slipknot, hence the name Knotfest. But then I came across an interesting video that I thought would be very unique sort of thing to interact with, react to, about why metalheads are happier people. So without further ado, let's jump in and have a look at why some of the opinions are that metalheads are happier people. Loud, chaotic, and aggressive. Heavy metal fans are angry, rowdy people, right? Wrong. Metalheads are actually some of the happiest and most peaceful people around. It's even scientifically proven that listening to heavy metal has a positive impact on mental health. How's that, you ask? Well, reason number one is that metalheads feel like they're part of one big community. Okay. And what better place to see that than in Metal Mecca, Wacken. The small town in Schleswig-Holstein, northern Germany, is home to just 2,000 people. But in August every year, metal fans from around the world flock to Wacken. Some, some 75,000 have been waiting for this moment. The opening of the so-called Promised Land. We're really grateful that you've been so loyal to Wacken and to our crew, to our artists. So we're really proud that you're all here, and now it's open the gate! Okay, so if you haven't heard of Wacken Festival, it's one of, if not the biggest heavy metal festival in the world. It's a multi-day, I believe. I know some are, like Hellfest and others around Europe. But these European festivals, they're multi-day, almost like 24-hour sort of thing. So you can get up at 1 o'clock in the morning, go watch a band. And it might be a good band too. Who knows what time that their set list is. I don't know the specifics on Wycan. I've never actually been myself, unfortunately. Interesting that they said that uh, the strong sense of community. At Knotfest, it's all about... I don't like Slipknot so much at the band perspective. I'm nothing against them personally or anything like that. But they always say, we are a family. And then they make songs about being like the black sheep and building that community. Like, um, what's we are not your kind. People equal shit. So regular people equal shit. Pulse of the maggots. Maggots being their fan base and stuff like that. So all through, like, we are a family. But I mean, that's a little bit hypocritical about what some of their business practices have been as well with the firing of certain members and whatever else. So take it with it that, but they play to that sense of community. Metal is such an obtuse, like it attracts people who feel that sort of sense of, oh, not so much darkness, not like other people. So I get that and I get that sense of community being in that. And I mean, I've never, ever had a problem at a metal festival. In fact, I was at Download, oh, 2019 it must have been, before everything else shut down. And at that same venue the week before, they had an EDM festival, electronic dance music festival. And we just said to the security guard, like, oh, you having a good time here? He said, mate, I don't care much for the music. That's fine. But this festival is so much tamer, so much calmer. Everybody's here just to have a good time. Everybody's looking after each other. We've had no trouble. Whereas at the other ones, you know, you get drugs and people looking to fight and all the hyped up buff dudes, you know, shredding for stereo it used to be a thing. Stereo Sonic used to be a festival here in Australia. And yeah, so it's a, it is a great vibe to be at. And I mean, even just being at Knotfest was an eye opener and a reintroduction to that too, because I haven't been to a festival since the pandemic. So it was great to see. But anyway, continuing on. So this is Wacken 2022, if you can't see, just down here too. So this is after everything else as well. <laughs> and also I love seeing all the variety of different shirts and stuff that you get to see. I'm not 
joking. I'm crying, guys. You know, it's so, it's so emotional for me. Look it's, at that guy. Look at really that guy. Amazing. He's kissing the ground. Yeah. He's crying. Don't have Another thing is, people take These their bands metal fans very seriously. To express their emotions as they share a moment of communal joy. Like the music has a lot of meaning to people in metalheads. Like, I've done other big festivals, but Wacken, that's really huge. People, everything is, everyone is friendly. Everything is awesome, and feels like a family of seventy-five thousand people. <laughs> That's awesome. Bucking is the promised land. <laughs> it's so friendly. Everyone's always really welcoming, mm. and it's different from festivals in the UK. Festivals in the UK can be a bit erratic and a bit. Um, it's not not very nice, really. And here, it's always really warm. We, we feel that there is truly a. Uh, Harmony, there is uh, friendship, there is brotherhood at the festival. And how do the locals feel about a horde of party goers invading their little town every year? They're all nice people, even though they get a bit tipsy. It's nice to have them here, but it's also nice when they leave, too. I always say these are the most lovable people you'll ever find. They all stick up for each other mm. and help each other out. There are no brawls. It's just great. Sounds like the metalheads have swept the locals off their feet and that they... And yeah, that's another thing too. When someone goes down, like the mosh pits can be intense. And you know, I used to love that aggression too. But you see someone go down, you reach back up, you rip them back up onto their feet, make sure they're all good. Then you keep headbanging. There's no room for tough guys in the pit. Most of the time, like if you're seen to be a bully or something, people will gang up on you or there's going to be someone bigger than you who's, you know, looking out for the little guy too. Like it's a, it is that community sense. They really are happier people. But why would heavy metal of all genres have such easygoing fans? Why not folk music or some other genre? Is there something it. special nice. about metal? It might have to do with reason number two. Metal provides an outlet mm. for stress and anger. And that's something that I was going to say and wait for the perfect time for it. In the mosh pit, you are there to release that stress. You're not trying to punch any... Like, there's, I suppose, the different genres and stuff as well. But there, you're there to just let go. Not actually on someone or direct that aggression towards someone or anger towards someone. But just let it go to your favorite band and music and stuff. Yeah, it's it's a good time. I'm convinced that metal elicits an effect in us that the ancient Greeks knew about and used in Greek tragedies. It's this theory of catharsis. You can translate that very roughly as cleansing. The theory of catharsis originated with Aristotle's theory of tragedy. The ancient Greeks held the view that the audience sympathizes with the protagonist and his fate to cleanse themselves of negative emotions, such as fear, anger and grief. The exciting thing about metal music is that it ventures into very dark places, more than other genres. On the one hand, you've got this very aggressive, often fast, bass-dominant music, which I think is unique to metal. On the other, there's very little other music whose lyrics speak of murder, manslaughter, death and the devil. That's why I think this music can elicit this cleansing effect. Nico Rosa is one of the leading experts for positive psychology in Germany. Metal yeah, right. musicians affirm his theory of heavy metal's cleansing effect, such as the members of the Ukrainian band IT. So, I wonder what was happening this time seven months ago when this was first. Or when this was I even recorded. Compare it with the people who uh, study something like a sport like box. Uh, most of people who are boxing, they are very polite, gently people in their regular life because all their aggression they let at the trainings. 
So maybe the same thing happens with the rock music. You listen very powerful, aggressive sounds. After that, you don't need an aggression in your regular life. It's just you put it there, you, you canalize it in some kind of way. You don't uh, let your aggression on your family, on your friends. You just listen to hard music. You let all aggression there. And in your regular, regular life, you are just a normal person. I guess it works like that. Heavy metal then can function as a kind of safe space. Negative emotions can be let loose on stage or in the mosh pit, and it does look more fun and more liberating than a therapy session. Which brings us to reason number three. Metal leads to feelings of joy and empowerment. A team of researchers at Macquarie University's Music Lab in Sydney ran a study yeah, right. to see if fans of death metal music had become desensitised to violence. The researchers' findings? We found that in fact the bias is the same for fans and non-fans of violent music, which suggests that there is no desensitisation to violence among fans of death metal music. They're just as empathetic. They're just as sensitive to violent depictions. They care just as much about violence outside of the musical context. To outsiders, heavy metal may well sound aggressive and intimidating, but from their study, the Australian research team concluded that when metal fans hear aggressive metal, they themselves are not feeling aggressive. On the contrary. The fans are really only extracting the positive qualities of that music and transforming it into an empowering experience. Yeah, and that's a good point too. So, the guy wearing like the cannibal corpse top that's got depictions of very graphic violence on it or whatever, isn't actually going to have those violent tendencies as opposed to someone else who may listen to pop music and hurt animals in their spare time. So, it's one of those things too. Like, it's, I love horror movies as well, but it's looking at the beauty behind that sort of thing as well. Like, the guitars, the heaviness and everything else. That, mmm, that's what it does for me, at least. And like they're saying too, it elicits feelings of joy and empowerment. And much in that too, like the horror movies, I look for the beauty behind it as well. The creativity behind it, like that awesome little guitar riff or how they're doing the special effects. I'm not in that world, but... I'm there to enjoy that world and think, how the hell did they do that? How did they record that? How did they, you know, come up with the special effects for whatever horror movie it was? That sort of thing. So I love that. The production behind things, because I've got one of those brains that thinks all the time, like, how does that happen? How do you solve that problem? How do you do that? At least that's for me anyway. Okay, they're just highlighting stuff. Okay, what are we... According to the study, metal actually makes people happy. Mm -hmm. But there's a catch. Metal primarily makes its own fans happy. To everyone else, it can indeed sound intimidating, which negates 100%. the positive effect. 100%. But don't worry, fans of other genres can experience the healing effects of their own music. Researchers in Montreal conducted a study in 2021 and found that music has a great effect on the brain's reward system. When we listen to our own favourite music, the same areas of the brain are activated as when we consume narcotics. Oh, wow. Wow. To sum up, the power of music is great, and especially the power of heavy metal. The metalhead community sees itself as one big family, everyone gets on and whenever necessary any aggression or other negative vibes can be headbanged into oblivion mm. pretty well what they've said yeah that they're happier people because of that sort of stuff let's have a look at some of the comments there as a person with social anxiety i can honestly say that when i go to a metal show it seems that all my social anxiety disappears and i can seemingly talk to anyone as if we were a family once again, what they were saying there, and that is very, very true. You see someone with like a similar sort of shirt on or something like that, you've got some common ground. You're there for a common reason. But I mean, is it just a metal show? But two, you're not performing or doing anything or you don't have to pretend to hide away whatever. Like a lot of people think, oh, I'm into metal music or it's going to cause a bit of friction with other people at that show with that common ground. You, you've already got that. 
that's something I feel is unique for metal. And it can be too. You get your gatekeepers and all the people that sort of judge you on what band you listen to. Like, you're not metal because you listen to Slipknot, for instance, because they're, you know, more of a gimmicky sort of band or whatever. I've been on hundreds of concerts in different uh, of different genres in the past two decades, but the people at metal shows are the most friendly and considerate, and they really take care of each other. Like I said, you see someone go down in the pit, you pick them up, dust them off a little bit, and then you get back into headbanging as well. And it seems like everybody's there and appreciates the music. Like, I mean, even metal musicians don't really do it for the money. They're happy enough that they can do it for the living, but they're probably not making as much as someone who just sits behind a deck and does a little bit of a scratch every now and then. Watching it, yep. When I started listening to people, people would ask, how can you listen to any of that screamy music? It's just so angry. They scream for me so I don't have to. That's an interesting point as well. But anyway, what's your take on this, guys? Does metal music make you happy? I know for me that it does. It elicits some sort of feeling, and that's very interesting what they said about the um, feeling of narcotics. Because I've drank alcohol, I've smoked cigarettes, so nicotine and stuff, and yeah, I guess metal does give me that same sort of buzz. Is your favorite type of music all you need? It can be a release for people because it does touch on other themes that other sorts of music don't, especially mainstream sort of stuff. So, hell yeah. Hell yeah, I've had some really good times in my middle uh, community there. I've just saw off to the side there, there's a thing for Black Dahlia murder. Rest in peace, Trevor. And that's something as well. Like, having that community, like, I don't want to touch on that too much because I don't know much of the details. I'm not even going to pretend I do. But um, someone who seems so full of life, so about the community, did so much for the community as well in uh, uncovering new bands for people and giving them a little bit of a spotlight. Yeah, it would tragically take that as well. Like, I met him a few times at shows and he seemed like such a great guy, but you never know what someone's going through as well. And maybe that release comes from this music, which then in terms make you happier because it feels like maybe someone understands. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this one here before I ramble on too much. What's your takeaway from this? Leave a comment down below and I'll leave a link to this uh, video as well in the description. So if you want to check it out, go right ahead. Anyway, guys, that's it for this one. I'm Rob Murphy and I'll see you in the next video.